This lecture discusses Doppler echocardiogram in a combination of mitral stenosis and regurgitation. Here is a tracing obtained by Doppler interrogation in mitral stenosis and mitral regurgitation. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Transmitral Doppler from apical fore chamber showing the jet of mitral stenosis towards the transducer and mitral regurgitation jet away from the transducer that is below the baseline. Estimation of pressure half time and transmitral gradient are demonstrated. Mitral valve area can be estimated from the pressure half time of the transmitral gradient. PST is obtained from the deceleration slope of the transmitral E wave in diastole. In MS there is no diastasis. The E merges with the A wave or there is EA fusion. Green cursor measures the PST of the MS jet. PHT is the time taken for transmetal gradient to fall by half or the transmetal velocity fall by root 2. PHT of 220 milliseconds corresponds to a metal valve area of 1 square centimeter. Dividing 220 by the measured PHT gives the estimated metal valve area. In this case, the PHT was 163 milliseconds and the estimated metal valve area by PHT was 1.3 square centimeters. Both two-dimensional planimetry and PHT methods give good estimate of mitral valve area non-invasively. Earlier mitral valve area was calculated using Gollin's formula after cardiac catheterization. PHT method is superior to two-dimensional planimetry to assess mitral valve area in those who have undergone mitral commissurotomy. MR does not significantly change the estimation of metal valve area by PHT. Transmetal gradient is measured from the apical four chamber view. The cursor traces the mitral stenosis jet in diastole and the computer program generates the peak and mean diastolic gradient across the metal valve. The computer calculates the mitral gradient from the transmetal velocity using the modified Bernoulli equation which states that the pressure gradient equal to 4V squared, where V is the velocity. The mitral regurgitation jet by Doppler is seen away from the transducer that is below the baseline. It is an incomplete jet in this case, suggesting that mitral regurgitation is only mild. Here are the references for this topic from prestigious cardiology journals. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.